Vinny Caravella. Hey, Alex. I like music games. Oh, you do? Do you? I don't know if you know that about me. I know you like music, and I know you like games. Well, here is a game that- what got music in it. What is it? This is Arrow. Uh, it is a game that I had never heard of, uh, up until last week, uh, when someone pointed out to me, he's like, Hey, have you heard about this thing? And I was like, I have not. And then the developer hit me up on Twitter and was like, Hey, I'll send you a code. And I okay. said, okay. And they sent me a code, and then I played through the entire set- like, soundtrack in, like, a single sitting. So I guess two things we should note off the bat here yes. at the time of this recording. One, uh, is if you go looking for it, the game is- uh, A-A-E-R-O. Yeah, the logo doesn't quite explain that, uh, but yes, that is the spelling of it. Uh, it is out April 11th, That's as far the as other I know. Thing, right. Yes, so. on, uh, Xbox One, PS4, and Steam. I don't have a price for it, because it's not out yet, and apparently none of the marketplace data is up for that stuff yet, but, yeah. uh... I imagine it won't be too pricey, but yeah, so this is a rhythm sort of action game, uh, with an electronic music-heavy soundtrack. Uh, I have not unlocked the other difficulties yet, but that said, uh, we can just jump into the normal here. We'll start with the opening stage, because it's not super hard, you can get okay. a sense of what kind of this game is. Arrow. Arrow. A-A-E-R-O. -E yes, A-A-E, like me, A-A Navarro. Okay, double A. Yes. Arrow. All right, you ready? I am ready. Let's do it. Oh, jeez, I wasn't ready. We're in! <laughs> I was not ready. Oh, my God, it's like... <laughs> Damn. Okay. Damn, Alex, I was not ready. You were not ready for that bass? <laughs> for this drop. This is some soundtrack, huh? Yep. So this is all licensed music, as far as I know. I don't know if I don't think any of these songs were created specifically for this game, but yeah. So it is an electronic music game. Damn, Alex, I'm going to say you can't get a license for these sick beats. Hell no. Uh, so the basic thing you're doing for a lot of this is following these sort of, like, bass and synth lines, uh, along the pace of the stage. Uh, okay. there are other things that are going on, too, but this is kind of the main mechanic. And this is the simplest one. Like, there's a lot more variation in it as we'll get into the other stages, but here's your- here's your first taste of it. And- and are you snapping to the line, or you Yeah, so I'm using the left control. analog stick. Uh, it's not snapping to. I have to sort of line it up okay. with it. You're basically like charging your meter by staying on the- Yes, you're trying to keep it as on the line as you can. Which is a little harder to do once it starts spinning around. Base cannon, base cannon. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's certainly, certainly a lot of that. <laughs> I'll stop doing that. All right. Well, There's also it. a combat aspect to this. Hit him with the base cannon. Yep. So now what do you, you have left stick, right stick? Uh, right stick is how you target. Okay. So, and once you do that, you just press the right trigger once you have something targeted. Okay. There's a little hidden thing over there. I feel like we've seen this This kind is of not style. a completely unfamiliar yeah. idea of how music and video games, what can get together. You know, it, it vaguely reminds me of that game where you play that has that virtual, like, virtual lady that was like a Kinect game. Do you remember that? Yes. What was that called? I don't remember, okay, but I know remember the exact about. thing you're talking yeah. about. Bass cannon, kick, it. <laughs> kick that bass cannon, Vinny. I, I wish I could. I mean, what's stopping you? A lot of things. Like what? Choices I've made in my life that have brought me to this point where I am no longer allowed to kick the base cannon. Man, I didn't realize the base cannon like required so much uh, dedication. Uh, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Okay, and I, I don't live it. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. In another universe, there is a there is a Vinny mm -hmm. who followed the base cannon lifestyle. Who was just kicking a fucking base cannon right this very second. And, and, and it's amazing and it's beautiful and it's a world in which uh, boats fly and planes go underwater and Vinny just kicks the base cannon all day and leads the revolution, really. I'm not going to say I would ever want that Vinny to replace my Vinny, who uh -huh. I have grown very attached to. I would really like to meet that Vinny, though. I'd like to at least get to know him a little bit. In, in the... Uh, the world of what the fuck is that movie? The one, one. Yes, that the Jet Li movie. Yeah. Yes, uh, that Vinny. I'm just gonna say might be the one that destroys this one. All right, no, that's fine. I mean, someone has to. Someone has to. Yeah, I'd rather it was him than you know the other people who seem like the most likely candidates these days. Because this Vinny can't even comprehend what that base cannon Vinny has done. 
I believe that was the end of that stage. All right. All right. So that's our first song. Okay. Oh, I did all right. Surprisingly enough, Bass Cannon. Yes. Okay. You know, Bass Cannon <laughs> from the album Bass Cannon. <laughs> from the group Bass Cannon. <laughs> Sadly, not the not the group Bass Cannon. From the Dimension Bass Cannon. All right. Let's see. What else do we have here? How uh, about Split the Atom? You want to split the atom? Yeah. Let's do it. I don't even remember this one. I played all these kind of in like a quick <laughs> succession at home, and then I sort of was like, yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. And then. Forgot. Is it fun? It is fun. I think it's kind of neat. It's not super deep, but I also haven't gotten into the other difficulties yet. Uh, so I don't know like how much more crazy shit they throw at you during that. Eden? Was that the name of that game? Child of Eden. Child of Eden. That's okay. the one. See, it, all right. Base Cannon Vinny. This is basically his commute. I gotta get to work. Here we go. Is any of this timed out to music? Not exactly. Like, I think his attacks sort of are, but mine aren't really. I kind of, kind of dig this soundtrack so yep. far. Oh, it's good. I mean, it's it reminds me very much of, like, that sort of amplitude frequency era of... Sure. Oh, shit. All right, I guess so I blew up there. It, it's... Oh, you're a little... You're a little guy. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's like music I don't listen to outside of... Outside of when you're playing Hackmat? Outside of visuals, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I, I would buy, if you told me you were hacking a computer right now, I'd yes, buy it. Yes, this is what hacking looks like. Like another version of Hackmat. My SSL Trojan looks like <laughs> this. This one's a little trickier. So you are painting targets? Yes. Whoop. Die. Die! Alright. What? Split the atom. Oh, split the atom. Got it. It's right there. This is, I'm, I'm doing that right now with music. What is this called? This isn't like EDM, is it? I mean, it, I mean EDM is sort of a, a broad tent, shall we say. Is it drum and bass? I, I, so, electronica subgenres are <laughs> not really my... Like, I can tell you the difference between, like, house music and, like, you know, like, dubstep. But, but this, like, I couldn't tell you, like, like, you start getting into, like, happy hardcore, fucking, like, cyber goth, fucking, like, just, I don't know what anything is, let really. Me, let me just say this. <laughs> Bass Cannavini's best friend is happy hardcore. Yeah. He's a, they have a deep history. This is not house, right? I don't think so. No, I don't believe so. I think house is more of like just a full on. Tss, tss. I, I feel like when I, 20 years ago, w we're in a club, people were playing house and not this. Yes. All right. Okay. That's that one. Uh, I'm going to have to dig into the soundtrack if they offer it up on Steam. Yeah. Again, I, it's I, not I, bad. I don't necessarily listen to this kind of stuff on like in my earphones. It's kind of perfect for video games. Yeah. Though. Like it, it's it's total like great rhythm, you know, not necessarily like a, you know, rock band or whatever, but like, you know, for that that amplitude frequency style of like, you know, sort of abstract rhythm game. Or if I got to go bang out some shrines in Zelda, yes. put that yes. on in the background. All right, what should we go with next? Do you want well, You got a lot. How about Edge of Tomorrow? That was a great movie. That was a great movie. Let's do that. I should watch that. And then again. we'll do a boss stage and then we'll uh we'll we'll probably call this cuz okay. I want people to explore some of this on their own. Uh, how many stages have you unlocked more as you went or are they all So open? that's the whole as far as I know that's the whole soundtrack and it's there's there's uh hard and super hard difficulties okay. that you can unlock once you hit 90% and 100% on on that other stuff. But I have not unlocked any of that yet. Thank you. 
Love. <laughs> you can do anything with auto tune these days. Yes, you can. You, you can maybe even make me sound like I know how to sing. <laughs> Don't though. Please, please do not ever auto tune me under any circumstances. That is. They still do. I like, will. I will send takedown notices. I will sue you. I will do whatever I have to do to stop that. Leverage everything at your disposal. This. If somebody tell me this were dubstep. I would believe them. I mean, this is probably more dubstep adjacent than uh, the other song was. I mean, anything with like a lot of wobble bass, I feel like is at least in the in the neighborhood. <laughs> right. In, somewhere around there. Yeah. In the general. Yeah, area, you bought a house code. at least next to Skrillex <laughs> if you didn't actually, you know, move into his abode. <laughs> Music is such a fascinating thing. It is. How do we keep coming up with new stuff? I feel like I'm on the edge of tomorrow. I mean, it's just because Tom Cruise isn't here. Yeah. Sorry. They probably couldn't afford him. What if you're in his, like, cortex? You're hacking Tom Cruise. I don't know. There's not enough volcanoes. <laughs> you're going to find his... What is it? Thetans? What? Thetans. Thetans? Yeah. You gotta go recover them, Alex. Xenus at the end of this. It's just a mirror at the end of this. It's just John Travolta with those damn dreadlocks. <laughs> yeah. Rat brain. Uh, let's not talk about Battle uh, of the Earth. Speaking of film in 40s. Uh, God, I would need at least 80 <laughs> for that. <laughs> to get through the opening. Dude, that's one of those movies that's like actually so bad, it's hard for me to even watch <laughs> to laugh at it. <laughs> ah, all right. All right, one more, one boss. Yeah, let's do a boss. So there's three bosses. Uh, they're at the end of these little uh, section breaks here with each one. Uh, so we can do Stigma, we can do Revenge, or we can do, uh, Habby 9000. It's up to you. Habby 9000 sounds kind of cool. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite song? Uh, do you I remember them? I don't remember off the top. I'm not going to show the last one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's do the Habby one's all right. It's not so super hard either. And like I said, uh, there are two additional difficulties for, uh, that you can unlock, so... There's more than just beating the, the suite of songs and then just trying to get higher scores. There's gotcha. a little more to it. And again, we don't know. We know the release, but... Uh, not the price. Was, was it April... Uh, geez, April 11th. 11th. But uh, not the price, right? Oh, it's a giant worm. Yeah. Welcome to Tremors. Oh, thank you. Great to be here. Does this feel timed out? Not exactly. I mean, it's kind of on the beat, but it's not hyper-specific. Damn. Oh, I'm probably whoa. not actually going to beat this boss. Oh, you're inside the worm, Alex. Yep. We're doing the worm, if you will. Okay. Um, um okay. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Are you going to pop out the one? At some point. I can see why this worm would be angry. Yeah. Doesn't really have a lot going on for it. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, not real thrilled with the whole situation in general. Listen, I eat things and they just go through me. I haven't had a good meal in years. Maybe don't eat things that have guns that are attached to them, you know? Well, nothing else will stay inside. 
Well, neither will I. No, apparently not. Worm just wants to have a good time. Hey, me too. It just loves electronic music as yeah. much as I do. It's like, I'm the EDM king. king I'm the worm. EDM worm. Y'all like that happy hardcore? I <laughs> still might need to look up happy hardcore. It's a thing. I okay. promise you it's real. I didn't just make that up. And so you're, you're just getting a multiplier up, your score? Yes. Okay. Anytime I'm like on the thing, I'm building that multiplier. And also sometimes shooting enemies will, will build that up as well. They should have made modems just sound like this when they created. Agreed. Connected. Like, but that have been so hard. I mean, it might have been. I don't know. I don't know how modems work. And I'm on the internet. And you're on the internet right now. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna blow up this worm on this trip. You so if you don't if you don't beat it, you uh, just you beat the stage. You just don't get like the the full score bonus at the end. Gotcha. Oh, uh, that's the end well, of that track anyway. Failed. Well, well. Do you want to retry or? I'll do a different one. All right. We'll do one more. All right. Boss or no boss? Boss. Do you want to try the spider boss? Sure. Try the spider boss. I think this might be by the same artist. Might be. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. Arrow. Arrow. A A E R O. E R O. A A E R O. Oh jeez. The future is covered in spiders. Only one hero can save them. Base Cannon Vinny. Yeah, that's a spider. That's a big old spider. It's a little electro spider. You know what I find most interesting? Oh, he's got shooting from behind. Most interesting thing about Base Cannon Vinny. What kind of hair dude does he have? Because he's got to have hair. I imagine him more just being like having like a danger mouse head. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't even going that route. Just a big old not mask. Dangerous, uh, uh, dead mouse. So just a big old, big old mask he wears. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what it would be. Okay, like some kind of fox or animal or I don't know what animal would you be if you were an, if you were a techno animal. Oh man, I don't know. Nobody's asked me this before, Alex. I feel I know. I, this look, is I, why I'm not base cannon Vinny. He would know. Yeah, he would know instantly. Uh. You know what I think? I think you're a big old, you're a big old techno teddy bear. A big old a techno bear? bear. But like with X's for eyes, or do I get to have real eyes? If you want, you can have whatever kind of eyes you want, man. Have an eye patch? Yeah, why not? Damn, and I died. Well, that was a faster one. Yeah, I mean, so those boss levels are a little trickier. You just gotta kind of get the hang of them. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a decent little look at uh, at arrow. what arrow is. Well, thanks, Alex. Thank you, Vinny. Uh, like I said, out of April 11th, Xbox One, PS4. PC. I think it's kind of neat. I, I, uh, you know, we'll see what the price is, but uh, I think if you, if you like rhythm games at this point, you know, it's like, hey, people are making them. That's great. That's <laughs> awesome. Still, still and, there. and this one seems pretty fun. All right. Thanks. See ya.